working hello 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 out there it's ricardo wilkins and uh thanks for joining thanks for watching wherever you may be hope you got your coffee i hope it's decaf if you do and it is then it's time for another coffee with the cow <laughs> your host with the most, Ricardo Wilkins, your resident team's geek, <clears throat> up with you at 9 p.m. Eastern to geek out on our favorite collaboration platform, Microsoft Teams, and also really to geek out on collaboration in general, which is why I call the channel Teamwork Cowbell as opposed to, you know, being more tool-specific. I, I I like to talk about, you know, all things collaboration, share, SharePoint and Teams and Surface and but certainly with the uh, Microsoft focus, um, as you can tell. So glad you could join me once again. Um, if you are joining live and have anything to say, I mean, of course, if you're out there, please say hi in the chat. So I know you're there. And uh, certainly if you have any questions, comments, thoughts as we're going along, feel free to put them in the chat. Happy to hear from you. Happy to pivot uh, the topics, you know, to, to whatever you are interested in. Um, as always, I come on here and just geek out on the topic of the day uh, from my perspective. Usually involves something I've come across the, in this uh, week or, you know, since the last time we got together. Uh, my thoughts this week, uh, last, so last week we, for a hot second, we showed whiteboard as I was trying to do a fancy diagram with my surface duo, which was successful. And, uh, you know, and so, uh, what I was showing is that whiteboard has been recently enhanced to allow external collaboration and whiteboard in the Teams meeting. Uh, and so I thought I'd just show that um, a little further than we did last time. Uh, let me switch here. And, uh, you know, last time we did it very briefly. You know, this time I've got uh, t 
two environment set up here. In fact, uh, let me let's make this one uh, dark theme to kind of make sure we know see the difference here. I think that'll work. I don't know if you've ever worked with dark theme in your um, in Teams. If you haven't, this is what it looks like. Um, Sometimes I'm in a dark theme mood and sometimes not. I, I do use the dark theme most of the time. I think I use it on my PC and some of my uh, tablets and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's cool. Uh, just kind of clicking around so you can kind of see what dark theme looks like. But anyway, I'm really just doing it right now just to make a distinction between these two en environments. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just kind of show what it looks like to um, get a, uh, my, a, a, a whiteboard session going in a Teams meeting. Okay, so let's, f oh, yes, yeah. and again, uh, not just the whiteboard in a Teams meeting, but whiteboard in which the other person is able to collaborate during a meeting. Um, you know, I guess what I can't show you anymore is what the experience used to be. Um, actually, maybe I can because, uh, well, well, we'll see. So this is a GCC environment and I'm trying to remember if, if, uh, this new functionality has rolled out to the government cloud yet, because if it isn't, then that'll let us see the old functionality. If this does work and it has rolled out, then... That's good for the government cloud and just bad for my demo here. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather the government cloud has gotten a feature than my demo to work. But anyway, anyway, let's try it. So we'll just start the uh, meeting and, and the whiteboard session from this end. So um, let's go to calendar and we'll do a meet now. And uh, we'll just get this thing fired up. Okay. Uh, all right. And then we will, f uh, let's actually get the other, uh, the other Ricardo into this meeting. So we'll come to the meeting info. This might be useful to you too, to see how to quickly give the link to a meeting to another person. Um, you could copy join info, email it, paste it, whatever. I'm from my perspective, I'm just going to go here to the join link and I'm going to right click and copy link. Somehow I get, I get that over to the other person. And, uh, in this case, they'll, they, or I will use the link by popping it into the browser. The browser will start to join. It's this box is asking if I want to open up the desktop client, which I do in this case. As you can see behind that, though, I do have big buttons for some other options. This one is also up open a desktop client. This is open the browser in case I don't have if I'm a person that doesn't have Teams installed or I don't even know what Teams is. As long as I got Internet in the browser, I can use that button. Um, and, uh, same thing. This is open, uh, essentially the desktop. Um, oh, actually this top one is, is download the, the client. This one is open it up cause you've already got it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open. You might ask why I'm not, why I don't have this clicked so that it just automatically goes into it, into teams. I just like this option. There are some scenarios when I do want to do it in the browser. Maybe most notably, um, if I'm in another tenant, if I'm trying to kind of get two things happen happening at once, my, the browser is my one chance to get another isolated Teams window open. So anyway, that, that's why I keep that. You know, I could check that and then that click that I just did or uh, which is automatically open teams most people probably want to do that I don't but anyway I'm gonna hit open it's going to my desktop client opening up the meeting I hit join now 
And so we've let people in the meeting know you're waiting. So now on this side, we are waiting to let Ricardo Wilkins come in. So we'll admit them. Um, all right, and mute it, good. So they're in, okay? And over here, I'm in, okay? See that. So on this side, let's go ahead and share a whiteboard. Okay. And we'll see it's firing up. You can see on this side, it's firing up. Still thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new one over here. Add Bing images to your whiteboard. That's cool. Okay. Now, so it's it's going, it's it's up and running here on my government uh, version of Teams, government cloud. Over on this commercial cloud, this is what I was actually hoping to see, which is unfortunate maybe for the government cloud. It's kind of lets me know the rollout isn't all the way there yet, or at least isn't rolled out to my government tenant. But today or before, this was the uh, the, the uh, experience. I'm external to this meeting's tenant. So it lets me know that everyone in the native tenant is having a good time with whiteboard, but I'm not allowed to have fun with them. For now, only members of this org can participate. Soon you'll be able to. Soon has come, for the most part. Um, looks like we're still waiting on it on the on the government side. Okay, but that did. So it's a good day for my demo. It let me show what I was trying to show. Not such a good day for the government cloud just yet. <laughs> all right, but government cloud certainly has whiteboard. It's all working. Now let's. Uh, as a result, let's kill this session. I'm going to end the meeting, which will both end it and for not just for me, but for the other person. So people don't just sit lingering in a meeting after I leave. So hopefully you know that that that, that feature. That's a good feature, too. Anyway, let's now start it on the commercial side. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a meet now. Start a meeting. We're going to join, get it going. We're going to uh, we'll hold right there. First, let me change my meeting options. You saw that before um, I joined and was immediately placed in the lobby. The other Ricardo had to admit, allow me into the meeting. That's the default. For most people, that's probably what you want. Kind of a way to keep just any anybody from jumping in your meeting. In my case, though, I want to open it wide open. I don't want to have to admit people, uh, especially if this is a large meeting, right? I don't need a hundred uh, notifications that somebody is in the lobby. So I've it's always been my uh, recommendation, especially for large meetings. Uh, unless you're, you know, really concerned about somebody weird getting in, open the lobby at least for the beginning until you feel like you got most people in, and then you can just close it again while the meeting's going. So, meeting options are your friend. In this case, instead of people in my org and guests, I want to say who can bypass the lobby, everyone, and then I'll hit save. All right. So now, coming, oh, and then I want to grab the link to the meeting. So more meeting info. Scroll down, right click, copy link. Come over here to uh, um, actually to the browser. Paste and go for that link. Hit open and join. I should go right in. Yep. Okay. 
So I am in the meeting. Okay. So all's good there. Now, of course, we want to share a whiteboard. Fire it up very quickly, in fact. Look at this. Another participant is preparing to share a whiteboard. Boom. We're in. Remember, these are two, two separate tenants. So this is the new experience, the, uh, the previous experience, what we just saw. Normally, this second person and another tenant would get that message, but now they're in. And... Uh, Pretty good real time experience here. Okay. And as you might guess, this is not just um, for two people, this could have been 20 people. In my Qt for Teams, aka.ms slash Qt for Teams. If I was really fancy, I would have displayed that on the screen right now. But anyway, uh, we actually actually fired up a whiteboard and had a, a, about 13 or 16 of the folks who were joining jumped in and they were all having at it. They were all, uh, you know, interacting with the whiteboard, doing their thing. So you can definitely have a lot more folks in here. Uh, one of the things I pointed out to them is uh, in this collaborative environment. So you, you saw the other Ricardo put this heart in these squigglies, but this Ricardo was able to move it around. I was just calling out, you know, you can't be, you can't be sensitive about people touching your stuff in a collaborative whiteboard. We uh, have the ability to erase what you've done all that good stuff, right? It's it's collaborative. Uh, it's the equivalent of us standing in front of a physical whiteboard, and putting stickies or whatever, and I might move your sticky, and you know, you've got you've got to be okay with that. All right. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, you can see uh, the lines. You can see my cursor as it's moving around. Uh, very fluid and interactive. Uh, I mean, hopefully, I don't have to. I mean, you believe me that these are two separate, you know, tenants and, you know, there's no fancy magic, weird magic happening here. Okay. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so we got this going on. Um, I will call out that, uh, you know, this whiteboard, when it's all said and done, is going to be stored in on this side, this tenant and in, in this Ricardo's OneDrive. Not really uh, an issue for this one, right? I mean, this is all about interacting within the meeting. If you have a need for that person to have access to the whiteboard after the fact, that's a whole different scenario. What I wanted to try, actually, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly, is uh, I'm wondering if I try to do a, a poll. Well, first, I, I wonder if the react, reactions, did that come over? Anyway, I'm kind of just trying stuff here. Um, before I try a poll, I don't know if you noticed this guy here. I don't know if you recognize or can really appreciate what's happening here. Let me make this window a little smaller. As you can see, I've popped out the shared content. It's popped out from the meeting. If you're a one monitor person, you know, no judgment, but this isn't a, that big a deal maybe for one monitor person. If you have two monitors, this can be a big deal. Imagine your, the whole whiteboard on your other big fancy monitor and the full meeting client and chat on the other instead of them being together. So uh, that's cool. I use that a lot. Some of you may have seen my blog post about 
the six monitors that, that I use. So there's one way over there that uh, it's like TV size, and that's where I pop out my share the content that I'm watching in a meeting and put it over there. So I got all of my work and stuff in front of me and, uh, and the stuff people are sharing way back there. Anyway, that's not what I had intended to go, but uh, what I wanted to do, so let's put this back the way it was. I wanted to see what it looks like to uh, get a, um, a poll going, see if that does anything. So um, let's do this. I want to see what happens on that side. Um, I really don't care what the what's here. I just want to get it going. Preview it. Looks good. Send it. What do they see on this side? Did I hit send? I hit send. Okay. Let's see if they see anything on it. There we go. Well, so they're seeing. Okay. Yep. So even with the whiteboard going. I could, for whatever reason, interrupt our collaboration to ask a poll question. And it might not be a silly question. This might be something like, hey, we've just put together this graphic design layout in whiteboard. Who, who likes this version versus the other version? You know, you might have your whole team voting on something that's going on in there. And so then they get to put their votes and submit and all that good stuff. It's in the chat area. So to me, that's nice. Um, whiteboard plus the, the voting is still going on, just like PowerPoint plus voting or, you know, anything I might be sharing and I can still use voting um, at the same time. Uh, what else might I use at the same time? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know that I use any of these other ones, but. That was worth at least uh, price of admission to see that. Um, and then I'm trying to think. I suspect live cap. Well, I'm not going to be able to test this here. These don't have microphones, but I suspect live captions would work while we're doing this as well. And then if I wanted to go full screen plus focus on content. And I'm going to, that's going to be like the widest version of this that, and I'll hide my own window. It's be like the widest version of the whiteboard that I could give myself. Um, hiding my window out of the way is, is relatively new as well. So you might just, you might've been surprised to see that having your window at the bottom and then being able to minimize it. So whether it's the whiteboard or whether it's a uh, you know PowerPoint live or something like that, this is about as this is as big as it, as you get, I think. Um, yeah, we're, well, we do want to always keep these in case we need to do something here with chat or something. So you see, I got there by doing focus on content and full screen. Okay, but again, at the end of the day, the whole goal here was uh, to um, show this interaction. Um, got my laser pointer working. I really like the, I mean, it's pretty real time. Got my highlighter. And then of course I haven't even gone into a lot of these fancy features, right? Uh, could be using a template maybe this is a, you know, some kind of cost benefit analysis and I want to pop that in there and, uh, you know, have a start, let's see, zoom in, have a start doing things with this, you know, so, so those templates give us a nice quick thing to start with. Um, Document, shapes, and images. Okay. 
good stuff, good stuff. Da, 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 da. So, in a nutshell, I think I've proven this works. It works well, and again, the, the key magic we're showing here is that two people in two different orgs, different companies, are able to collaborate on that. At the end of the day, I over here own it. I find it, and I'll, you know, I would need to do some exporting or something to uh, share it with the other, share the end result with the other uh, party. But um, at the end of the day, we we got it, we got it, got it done. All right. There we go. Good stuff. So, hope that was useful. Um, big fan of whiteboard, and so, and especially a fan now of that new functionality. So, I hope that was good. So you kind of see how that works. Again, coming soon to a government client near you, already out in commercial. So, feel free to have at it. Carla Wilkins with my coffee. And it's been Coffee with the Cowbell.